The list of 50 people in six states, including two Las Vegas families. The scheme involved dozens of parents, sports coaches, college prep executives, even celebrity actresses like Felicity Huffman and Lori Laughlin. This is not a case where parents were acting in the best interests of their children. Federal prosecutors accused Gamal Abdelaziz and Elizabeth Kimmel, both with addresses in the Valley, of facilitating their children's admissions into the University of Southern California in Georgetown. This is a case where they flaunted their wealth, sparing no expense to cheat the system so, so they could set their children up for success with the best education money could buy, literally. In this lengthy criminal complaint, a timeline of what happened. Prosecutors say Elizabeth Kimmel conspired to use bribery to get her daughter accepted into Georgetown as a tennis recruit and then her son years later to USC as a track recruit. Witnesses told investigators they were not qualified athletes. On July 26, 2018, Kimmel and her husband told a protected or concealed witness over the phone that their son's advisor at USC started asking questions about her son being on the track team. One problem, the son had no idea what the advisor was talking about and said he believed this to be a mistake because he was unaware that he had been admitted to USC as a recruited athlete. For every student admitted through fraud, an honest, genuinely talented student was rejected. And Gamal Abdelaziz, whose last known address was inside this gated community near Wallapai and Alta, was a senior executive of a Chinese resort casino operator. Investigators say Abdelaziz conspired to bribe an associate athletic director at USC to put his daughter on the USC basketball team. In exchange, Abdelaziz would make payments to the tune of $20,000 a month so she could be a student there. Investigators say the process getting her in the door was complicated and that Abdelaziz provided information for a falsified basketball profile, which included exaggerated and altogether fabricated basketball credentials to submit to USC on his daughter's behalf. On a phone call dated January 3rd of this year, the cooperating witness told Abdelaziz if anyone asked why she wasn't playing, he was instructed to say she had suffered an injury and he agreed to go along with that story.